And remember, give him, an, give him one of my books. You gotta get an extra book for me. Thank you. Okay? See, so so when you when you go home, share share your dream with somebody. Don't let it just be something where where you, where you hopefully got inspired, where you hopefully picked up again the spirit of excellence. Give it to somebody because anything in life that you really want, you have to be willing to share it with somebody else. These are principles that work. If I want more media exposure or something, guess what I have to do? I hear about something, I call somebody else, I say, guess what? I know this person. Uh, I just told them about you. They want to interview you. Do you know why? Because I'm trying to get more media exposure. So I share my connections with somebody. If I know somebody that uh, maybe they want to buy a jacket wholesale and they just started their business, I have some wholesale connections. So I'll say, go to LA Loving or something. Why pay $65 for something you can buy for $14? Again, I'm just sharing the very things that I want out of life. If you want good help, give it to somebody else. Be, a, be an inspiration for somebody else. Share your keys. All right? You still with me? I hope you are. Yeah. Don't make me get you up there doing jumping jacks. Cause I will. <laughs> All right? Remember, prevention, prevention always costs less compared with the cost for cure. You look at how much money you pay for insurance and those things. So that if you end up going to the hospital, you're covered. Would it be cheaper just to invest in yourself right now while you can? All right. It takes very little money to uh, to walk, ride the bike, whatever it is. Our bodies, like everything else we have, will eventually decay. But while we're living, let's do our part to slow down the process by exercising and eating healthy. If you don't like what you see on TV, what do you do? Especially guys, right? We're good at changing the channel. I mean, you know, my wife isn't here, but I'll be home like this. I'll be laying down like this, or I'll be like, do that, do that, do that, do that. She gets so mad at me, but I can't help it. See, but I just look at it like, it's exercise. You know, I'm getting my fingers see. That's what I tell her. I said, the fitness king is exercising, see? Well, you know, you got to have fun. you got to have more fun, all right? You, you know, if, if you don't like what's on TV, you change the channel. If you don't like what's going on physically speaking, sometimes you need to change your conversation. So I need you to listen to this one. Eliminate all self-defeating talk. Now, by the way, everything I'm talking about here not only applies to helping you benefit physically, but will help you in every other area of your life. Like I said, maybe you run a company. Maybe you work for somebody else. If you develop, okay, you change your conversation, you're going to be a much better person just to be around. I mean, how many people like being around somebody? Every time you turn around, they're like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like that. I mean, do you know people like this? <laughs> Always complaining, okay? They see everything as a downside instead of an upside. I'm going to share this with you before I go to that. I lost my sight roughly about five months ago. I'm wearing glasses because I'm totally blind in my right eye. Totally. Now, this is a guy that never gets sick. I fell. They said that it caused a concussion, which caused me to have what they said like a blood clot. I had a stroke in my, in my eye. So what happened was, when that happened, I was like really sad. People say, oh man, you seem like you're handling it really well. And I'd start crying. I said, I'm not handling it well at all. I've never been, I mean, I've been sick in 26, 27 years. I refuse to get sick. But when that happened, there was nothing I could do about that stroke. I hate glasses, but I'm wearing over, as you see, right? So I lost the sight, and I'm sitting home, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking, you know what? I don't feel like working out anymore. I was so, I was bummed. My friends, I got friends that are here in Coach. I was like bummed. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna work out anymore. I'm tired of this. And then something hit me. Something hit me inside. If you don't work out, you'll never work out again. So right then, when I was saying, I don't, you know, I don't think I'll ever work out, I was doing this. Watch me. Watch, watch, watch it. Watch. I'm gonna put the glasses on so I don't trip. Okay? This is me, watch it. All of a sudden, inwardly, I just started moving really slow. And so something caught me, it was like this. You had a little setback, a little setback. But you don't need to step back. You don't need to step back. Something told me that. So within probably 13 days, I, I think it was less than two weeks, I told a friend of mine, Bill Con Conway, he's here. Stand up, Bill, stand up, Bill, stand up. That's my buddy, Bill. <laughs> I told my friend Bill, I said, I refuse to let the setback cause me to step back. And I saw him in the morning, because I trained him, and I saw him in the morning early. I said, how do you feel, Bill? He said he felt good. I said, I feel proactive, like that. And he looked at me and he said, wow, you got some energy. You know why? Because I was determined 
with my attitude. Again, I talk about the spirit of excellency, talk about the attitude of excellency and how you look at things in life. So less than two weeks, my eyesight, guess what? I could not care less that I'm totally blind in my right eye. I mean that 100%, I could not care less. Now, it took me about five, six, seven weeks getting used to driving, and I, I ran into the wall a couple times, I laughed. Mark, would you? I'm tripping over equipment. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's, it's your attitude again, okay? So eliminate all that self-defeating talk. Stop the I can't and start the I can. Develop what I call the I can attitude. I can control my appetite. I can. I can lose the weight. I can stop the drinking. If you're drinking, I can stop the drinking. I can stop the drugs. I can make time to exercise. Whatever it is that might be stopping you from investing into your health. You'll be half on your way if you embrace the I can attitude in your speech, in your thoughts, and in your actions, okay? Again, I call that the spirit of excellency. I know you guys have a long day ahead of you. My desire is that each and everybody here leaves encouraged, leaves again thinking about their, their physical fitness and thinking about everything, their mental fitness, and just really developing the spirit of excellency, striving to do the best, because even that, if you, if you go to work every day and you try to do the best that you can, that even helps you, because it gives you something. You feel like you're worth, you have value. But if you go on the work and you just, you're just trying to milk an employer, you're just like, just, just getting by, just getting by, you know? That, that, that's self-defeating, okay? So have a, have a great attitude in what you're doing. And before I close, I want to read this form to you real quick that I wrote. <laughs> Listen up, everybody. Time on time, where did it go? From board meetings to lunch meetings, I had to go. I've been given a raise, so I have no choice. And besides, with the extra money, I can buy the Rolls Royce. From lunch to the stockbroker, I must go. I've got to find out if my stocks are high or low. Yes, money means a lot to me, from fur coats to diamond ring. Heaven knows I need these things. Whether we are rich or poor, we all have to choose whether to open the door. The door to great health or the door to great wealth. Which one will it be? You choose for you, and I'll choose for me. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being here. I know it's hard to take, by the way, I know it's hard when you take time out from work, so I do not take it lightly. When you leave here today, remember, leave here with the spirit of excellency. Start thinking about doing some things for yourself physically. I appreciate the people coming up here to helping me out a little bit. Have a great day. Take care of yourself. All right? Stay, stay fit, too. Everybody here, stay fit. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any questions, too, you can come up and I'll answer your questions. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.